That just one shot. I didn't think that would. Okay, well, that makes sense. Shout out Weird Ear. It did, it did a thing. I really didn't think it'd do a thing immediately. So, in an effort to, uh, you know, have people not be sick and tired of me using Wo Chen, we're going to be using the uh, team that Joe Brown, you know, commentator for the Pokemon v uh, VGC circuit, shared the other day, and he actually used it on stream. It's the first Regulation D winning game, on, er, team to win a Regulation D game on an official Pokemon live stream. Very cool, huh? Well, it was between him and the other person, but... It is what it is, you know? Uh, so we're going to use that rental team. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. If you guys are watching on Twitch, say hi and I'll switch over so you can say hi to YouTube. But yeah, let's go ahead and rent that team. I'm going to go ahead and return this one. Uh, but the rental code, I'm going to go ahead and share in a second here. You guys will be able to see it. All right. Uh, two, six, G... SNH. All right. There it is. There's the team and there's chat. Look, everyone's saying hi to YouTube. Hello. You guys should uh, come to the Twitch streams once in a while. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a really fun team. He's, uh, he also sent me the Poke Paste when I said I wanted to use it on stream. The Weird Ear is what really caught my attention. I, I'm actually a big fan of Weird Ear's design. I like the, uh, you know, I like the big stupid beard on it. Uh, but... Mental Herb on Weird Ear I thought was extremely cool. It's an adamant natured one, so it's actually going to be um, hitting decently hard. But it's got Psy Shield Bash, Trick Room, helping him protect. Uh, we have a Cobra Berry, Cresselia. We have Citrus Berry on Amoongus with Terra Water. Uh, pretty physically defensive one. We have Flame Orb, Ursa Luna. A bulkier one, you know, not, not like standard. It's actually got not max HP, but it's uh, looks like it's living something on the special defensive side. Let me see in our DMs if he actually mentioned, you know, what that's supposed to live. Da, 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 da. He did not, but it is what it is. Um, and of course, we have, you know, Mystic Water, Urshifu Rapid Strike, and the GOAT, AV Heatran. Anyways, let's get into this. What are some tips on finding the last Mon for your team? Uh, my tip for finding the last, for finding the last Pokemon on your team, Pokemon number six, would have to be, take a look at the other five, and it can't be any of those. That's, that's usually a good place to start. That's usually a good place to start. All right. So, of course, new season. I'm pretty late in actually, like, playing um, my games in the new season. But, you know, I'm going to see how good I can do. I've played three games so far. Thanks. Anytime. We're facing the red. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, this looks like a stall team because I saw Garg and, like, Glamora, but then I realized nothing else on this team really that stally, except probably Tropius. Am I going to get, like, absolutely annihilated by a Tropius? Is it going to be Manual Sun Charizard, Protosynthesis Great Tusk, and then, like, Harvest Tropius? Is that what I'm about to face? Because I don't want to face that. I really don't. Um, In an effort to make use of the boy, we're actually just going to go ahead and lead off of them. I'm going to bring Heatran because I think that would be fairly useful. And yeah, I'm going to lead off with the boy because I want the boy to do something. Subseed Tropius? I hardly know her. That is that is a hard pick. That is an insanely hard trainer card. He is red. Oh my god. Tropius and Glamora? All right. I mean, I should always get off my Trick Room here, right? Go ahead and protect. I don't want to get poisoned. I'd prefer to get burned. Psy Shield Bash also seems pretty decent here. I think what I'm going to do is a little thing called... You know, the, the all my friends are dead syndrome treatment where I take the Pokemon that stalls everything and I ignore it the whole game until it's the only Pokemon left. And then I'm able to put all of my resources into beating it. There's the Tropius. Are you Terra Ghost? That'd be so hard. Terra Water. Okay. Well, okay. All right. I'll take it. Hopefully they don't Leech Seed in my weird ear.
Mortal spin. Let's go. We avoided that. That's all that matters. All right. Can you attack my Ursaluna? That'd be so cool. All right. They leech seed the thing I didn't want it. Uh, I didn't want them to leech seed. Big sad. Big sad. Hmm. That being said, I shouldn't really be too scared of the Tropius here. I think what I want to go for is a Psy Shield Bash into the Glamora. And... You know what? Let's just tear a normal facade here. I I'm not particularly scared of the Tropius. Like, yeah, you know, Tropius can be kind of annoying, but... Uh, it's not like they're leech seeding anything particularly important here. This also allows me to dodge a possible, like, energy ball. And if Amoongus can't live this, I really doubt Tropius lives this. Watch it be Sash. Nope, it's gone. Awesome. And I finally get to see the animation for Psy Shield Bash. I have never seen that. No coverage on Ursa Luna. I didn't make the team. That just one shot. I didn't think that would... Okay, well, that makes sense. Shout out Weird Ear. It did, it did a thing. I really didn't think it'd do a thing immediately. You guys want to see me knock out my own Weird Ear? Depending on what's in the back, I might just knock out my own Weird Ear. The side shield bash breaks screens. No, it just gives you a defense boost. There's Jarjanical, and there's Drake Drake Jusk. All right. Um. I mean, there's no reason to one shot my own dude. Let's just double down on this on this great tusk. Please be Sash so I can get a KO with my other guy. No? Okay. Nice little defense boost there. Not that it really matters here. I'm just going to spam Headlong Rush until I win. I've been enjoying using Weird Ear. Are you using like a similar set? So we are taking a lot of chip damage. How do we avoid losing to the chip damage? Easy. We send in the Cresselia and we Lunar Blessing. And we also click Headlong Rush. Easy. Stay Protect. Cool. No worries. I'm just going to Lunar Blessing and click it again. Does Lunar Blessing remove Salt Cure? No, it doesn't. Salt Cure isn't a status. I guess it's kind of a status. What would we call that? Because, um, you know, moves like Infestation, Sand Tomb, Salt Cure, none of those are considered statuses, right? Like, they're not like Burn or whatever. They're not permanent. I guess the, the main difference is... Statuses don't get removed when you switch. They're some second thing. Alright, nice. That is still the hardest trainer card I've ever seen.
that water tasted like night water. You guys, you guys ever have night water? I love night water. I think when you're streaming, all water tastes like night water. I don't know how to describe it. You talk so much when you're streaming that your throat gets dry and you get really thirsty and then you take a big sip of your, your daytime night water and it just, it goes crazy, man. I can't explain it. Okay. Um, I mean, I really like the weirdier lead here. The weirdier uh, is actually a pretty solid lead. Definitely don't want to lead off with um, Ursa Luna. I'm going to have to send that in later. But I think if I lead off with like weirdier and... Terra Grass Assault Vest T-Train actually looks really good here. I might do that. Let's do that. Bring you in the back. For my last Mon, I could go with Cresselia too. Cresselia is not terrible. Let's do Cresselia. It's a little bit passive, but it is it is what it is. Imprisoned TR Flutter, I'm calling it. Well, if they lead off with Flutter, then yeah. We'll just call it. The only thing is Imprisoned TR Flutter, like... Kind of necessity. Oh my god. I didn't know Typhlosion could hit that pose. Um, TR Flutter in prison variants at least kind of necessitate the use of, um, what's it called? A Focus Sash. And a lot of the Pokemon on their team are not like Pokemon that want to use a Focus Sash. Nice little Intimidate there. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to Terra Grass immediately. I'm also going to predict a, you know, let's just go for the trick room. I, I don't think they're going to fake out and taunt the weird ear. That'd be really weird, to be honest. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and Terra Grass Heat Wave. Just to avoid a possible high horsepower if they want to, not high horsepower, but stomping tantrum. Yeah, the trainer cards today are kind of going off. You know what we should do? Uh, new channel tradition, new channel tradition. Before every match, I need chat to just rate the trainer card of the person we're facing out of 10. That's our new thing. Rate the trainer card. All right. Nice. Cool. We're going to get the trick room off. Taunt me, stinky. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. What the deer doing? Yeah. Okay. So, I actually wouldn't mind just smacking the uh, Thunderous with a Psy Shield Bash. As well as a Heat Wave. I'm surprised I didn't Eerie Impulse my Heatran, to be honest. There it is. This should still do a decent amount, combined. I think they're going to want a U-turn. It can miss?! No one told me this move could miss. That's garbage. Can you burn to make up for that awful luck right there? No, I'm just going to get knocked off. That's just my reward. Great. Thank you. Real nice. Real nice game. Real nice. Thank you. I really appreciated that. I didn't know that could I didn't know that could miss. All right, I'm going to side shield bash the thunderous once more and I'm actually going to go harder Saluna. Awesome. That's what I figured they'd want to do. Nice little defense boost. To go for another knockoff. And I should be able to just KO this Rillaboom. They're, they're usually Assault Vest, right? So I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, I'm going to Helping Hand. And Facade. Because they might want to switch out into something else. Uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because they can just go into like... Um, they can just go into their Flutter main. That was kind of a dumb play. In retrospect. Maybe they just didn't bring it. No, there it is. That's, that's Flutter main. That's the Flutter main switch. Oh no, we're good. We just KO'd Landers. Poggers. 
Big poggers right there. That is a weird deer. Oh no. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. We did it. Yes. Good job. Why is the deer green? Um, I've been feeding him lots of vegetables, so he gets big and strong. He's been having extra vegetables to get big and strong. All right, we have like one turn left to trick room, right? We do. Here's where I hit him with the nastiest play of 2013. Um, you know, ironically, yeah, like trick room plus Heatran would be the nastiest play of 2013. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of things I want to do here. I'm going to hit. Oh, wait, I can't helping hand at all. You know what? I believe in him. He's not going to fake out. He is. That's fine. We don't lose much from this. Little bit of chip. L li little bit of chip right there. All right. So the good news is this grassy terrain is kind of helping me more than it's hurting me. And it's probably going to end soon. I think now, actually. I think like right now. Yeah, nice. So this is cool because I can ruin this dude's day. I'm going to go Heatran. And I'm going to protect. They withdraw the Thunderous. Can it not be? Okay, cool. I was going to say, can it not be Urshifu? That'd be so cool. I love how Heatran looks in this game. He looks so cool, man. He is actually the coolest Pokemon in the game. All right. Who's ready for the craziest play of 2013? Check it. Um, Actually, yeah, that's totally worth it. Is it? Should I get rid of Heatran? I could get rid of Heatran. What if I facade the Heatran? I should totally facade the Heatran. Check it out. They're going to tear a grass to avoid getting earth powered. They didn't tear a grass. I just, I might have wasted a turn there. Magma Storm? Yeah, I wasted a turn there because I totally could have just... Holy could have just nae him. I also do a decent amount though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could I could have I could have gotten a lot more out of that turn. <laughs> In retrospect, I could have gotten a lot more out of that turn. Especially considering they went for a fire move into my guy for like no good reason. Let's try to trick room. Send in the Heatran. So I just want to point out that. Under no circumstances should you ever go for a fire type move into a Heatran. Unless it's open team sheet and you know that they're flame body. That sucks. My AV. Alright, cool. Um, W. I'm gonna call that a W. So I want to say that there's no way that they're like flame body or that there's no way that they're um whatever the good ability is.
What's the speed on the Heatran? Uh, 52. Alright, can you, like, Magma Storm me again? Just so I can win next turn? Awesome, awesome, thank you. So, your Flame Body, right? Because there's no way you would, like, click that move three times into a Fire-type and have you not be the ability that, you know, isn't the thing that I am that is very obvious. Is Flash Fire really better than Flame Body, though? Uh, I used to agree, but I'm not so sure anymore. Okay. Heatran wants to tear a grass. You want to be immune to that. <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's like the big reason. It's just that immunity is huge. Okay, let's uh, let's just side shield bash. Just get rid of him. Your impulse, cool. All right, well, my Fire-type move is powered up, so... Actually, might still do enough. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Rillaboom, that's fine. Critical hit. Is Screamtail still viable? Yeah, I mean, I've been using it. Glitz, thank you so much for the uh, six months. Thank you so much. And at Tier 2, that is insane. Who Tier 2 subs? Apparently you. Shout out you. But yeah, I appreciate the support. And thanks to the follow, Himmy Turner. That name goes insanely hard. I know you from Twitter. Blark. Alright, cool. So I think that just nets us in Master Ball now. Pretty sure. So I can actually start playing real ladder. How do you feel about manual electric train to help Paradox future mons akin to Sun Teams to Murkrow? Maybe, I don't know. I feel like you get a lot more value out of Murkrow Sun than you do electric terrain stuff because a lot of like a lot of Paradox mons already want to just like you know, not really care about their ability. Like, they have better items, you know? And Iron Bundle isn't really going to miss Booster Energy. Or, it's going to miss Booster Energy. It doesn't really have any other item it wants to run other than possibly Specs. Oh, no, one more. Okay, cool. One more, then we're done. Alright, remember to rate their trainer card. What is... Oh, what am I facing? All right. All right. Let's, let's do some... Uh, let's do some... Let's do some math. One of these things is going to activate a weakness policy onto that palisand. If I was a betting man, I would say it's probably going to be the Obama Snow. And then they're going to want to get in like that Flamigo, I think. And, and I don't want Trick Room here. I just don't. I just, I just don't. Um... Wow, I don't really know what to do here other than just absolutely lay into this person with my strongest Pokemon. Huh. Something weird here. I actually think that might be fairly useful here. Um, and all of my, like, strongest hitters... Like, my Trick Room Mons are faster than it outside of Trick Room, so I just don't even, like, really bring the Trick Room Center. Josh, thanks for the Tier 1 sub. Which fire moves do you consistently encounter in Reg D other than Heatrans? Um, you still encounter a fair amount of Arcanine from time to time. Um, and even if that isn't the case, even if like you only encounter other Heatrans, 100% beating other Heatrans is much better than losing to other Heatrans because you Terra Grassed. I see no reason not to Heat Wave here. And also, I think I am going to Terra Water. Surging Strikes. Just in case that is the Zorak, I would like to get rid of it. And if it isn't, still get rid of it. 
Was that a two? I didn't even see the trainer card. I was still just dumbfounded by their actual team. Burn on surging strikes, though. Uh, you like there are Pokemon that do that job better. I'd argue Moltres is better for that job because it has access to Roost. Okay, cool. So we got rid of that. Um, interesting that it was Life Orb. The Protect on the... Um, the Protect on the, on the Avalog is a little bit sus. These things are typically like Assault Vest. Edge Dancer, thanks so much for the, uh, for the gift uh, tier 1 sub. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, the left one's the real Heatran. So, let's do this. I don't need you to win. Let's break that sash. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Watch me tear a ground Terra Blast and I lose. Terra Dark. Okay, sick. Let's just... Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, I was right. That is the that is the real Heatran. Get some damage. Break what well, is likely a Sash. Do way too much damage. Nice. Snarl? Ooh. It's going to do a decent amount. Oh, never mind. I forgot I'm AV. Sorry, guys. My bad. Forgot I'm AV. Doesn't do much. You know, the implication of him using Wide Guard is that the other one is also not AV. Alright, um... To be able to get in my Ursa Luna here. Flash Cannon Facade, why not? If I were them, I would Wide Guard again. That's just me. That's just me. I would totally wide guard again. No, they protect. Okay, cool. Probably sturdy. So it should live this. Oh! That's where the weakness policy is. Well, that's concerning. Where's the earthquake? Body press? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure, yeah, okay. Let's get rid of you. I could Earthquake, but I don't want them to wide guard on me. Pretty sure I can take a plus two body press because it's not actually using the attack stat. But they're probably going to go for a nice move. Yeah, maybe I should have Earthquaked, but I couldn't really take that risk there. Yeah, it doesn't KO. Um, they probably don't have Protect because they have Wide Guard. And Body Press. Send out the weird ear. Hopefully the last Pokemon's one of their slower options. Obama Snow, yeah, nice. It 
It doesn't say that I'm zero speed. I'm also blanking on Obama Snow speed tier. Let me check that. Isn't it like 65? Isn't it like always gonna be faster than me? Obama Snow 60. Ursa Luna's 50. All right, let's do this. I guess I don't really have an option. Oh, they threw. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, I think the next Psy Shield Bash will always drop them. Giga Drain will make it a little bit more annoying. Actually, mm, maybe I do lose this. It depends. Because Giga Drain did a decent amount. And Psy Shield Bash isn't the strongest move. It's also faster than me. Alright, please KO. I know you have a defense boost. No, I lose. Yeah. Dang, I just got gate kept out of Master Ball tier by an Avalug. It is what it is. Does the snow defense boost affect body press? I actually have no clue. 